morning, y'all, y buenos días. So today we are gonna make frijoles. I've had this requested so many times, and I'm finally coming around and making it. I needed my mom to make this video. It couldn't be a sopa de frijoles video without my mom and Luna wanted to appear in it as well. But yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing how to make sopa de frijoles salvadoreño style, then keep on watching. All right, so this is what y'all are gonna need. Frijoles. So this is two pounds of frijoles and we get them in bulk from our local Mexican store. So there are all kinds of really awesome um, Mexican and Central American stores that have them in bulk. Most of them actually have them in bulk. They're in giant barrels. So we're very lucky that we get them from there. And these are frijoles salvadoreños, because just saying, these are the best ones. So you want to rinse these out. These are already rinsed and dried. And this is the kind of frijol that you need. Next, you're going to need an onion. We usually do a yellow onion, and we use about half of the onion. And also, some garlic and we use about half of the entire head of garlic. And last but not least, you're gonna need some salt. And now once the water is all nice and boiling with the half the onion and the garlic, you're gonna wanna throw your beans in there. I needed a smoothie break. And now here's the fun part. You wait for like ever. So uh, it really just depends on the beans. Um, it's probably gonna take anywhere from two to four hours. So you just constantly wanna kinda check them, make sure they don't overboil, add a little bit more water as they go. So now I wanted to let you guys know a little bit of the benefits of eating beans. So first of all, they taste delicious. Second of all, they're relatively cheap and can be found unpackaged in a variety of different places. And so we, always always have like a crap ton of beans stocked up at all times especially these red beans these red salvadoreño beans just because they're our favorite but there's so many different kinds of beans that uh can really increase your plant intake like i said they're super good they're relatively affordable and you can make them in bulk which is what we do we always make like about two pounds of frijoles and then we make them in a bunch of different ways and add them and in a bunch of different meals so you can make like different kinds of soups with them you can add them to your salads you can eat them like that you can put them on a sandwich we do basically anything you can possibly think of with these beans so eating beans is an awesome way to get your plant foods in get those vitamins in get your fiber in and also they're cheap so it's really awesome and that is it these are our delicious and amazing frijoles you can really do all kinds of stuff with this Come on, se le puede poner este pedacito de aguacate mm -hmm. también se le puede poner arroz blanco o también se le puede poner este cilantro picado con cebolla y queda yes. muy rico yes super bomb with cilantro in it so yeah Y'all need to go out and get you guys some frijoles and make this awesome sopa de frijoles muy rico Ay, están calientes. <risa> no, no, no. no, no, no.